One event in the books for Team Dragon Racing Fuel's 2011 season and a whole lot more to go. On this episode of Married with Dragsters, the team takes a look back at information they gained from their first outing at Indy and what they'll need to do to step it up at Norwalk. gas through the system and then take a little timing, add a little timing back to it and then if it performs adequately there then we're going to lean it on the alcohol side uh, and go from say a 70 to a 78 on the alcohol side uh, and try and maintain a little more gas in the deal but then we it down to lean the alcohol side. We want to be sure to use this the auto light spark plug too. And then we're going to go 9 on the fuel pressure, 8 on the retard, off of 32 degrees base timing. And then if everything looks good on that, we're going to drop down to an either 78 or an 80 on the main alcohol jet. Right. What do you think about the way that those three plugs look? That's bizarre. I mean, it, it's hard to, to imagine the difference. You know, there's probably an eighth of an inch or less difference in the actual material. And, those that just smell like that. I mean, once they start, they can go downhill from there and go to the detonation and just knock the end off of them. They're going to become like a glow plug. Right. It's really surprising. You know, if the other side plugs that look pretty hot, then you think, well, yeah, it's just borderline or something, but the others look like they've been sitting there hot. They've never been done track. It's pretty surprising. There's a lesson to be learned there. Yeah, uh, we make sure we put the right plugs in. Yeah, but I don't mean that. I mean, just a lesson for people involved with engines to, to be aware that there's not that much difference. What, what do you think the, uh, the learning curve has been on trying to mix these three fuels together? It's been tough. I've really been surprised. Uh, I thought it'd be a lot easier than it was. We've never really done much of it. We've done some straight alcohol systems but never the alcohol and gas mixture. I'm sure our customers do, but the stuff we've directly been involved with tuning, we haven't done. Okay, there's what I did on the first pass. There are 14 degrees, like you said, at seven pounds of fuel pressure. That's flowing through a 73 jet. 70 main jet, and then there was the tuna, 900 bottle pressure. You can see the EGTs and everything. You know, there's the launch, the launch RPM. There's our max. That's Still, the highest that was the highest it got. Okay. Right, right when it shifted from low to high, and then going through the, going through the traps, which I'm set at seven seconds. Right. Just that's when I'm starting to slow down, shutting everything off. So. That's the first. Yeah. Second one. Is the second one, okay, went in and I, I dropped four degrees on the retard. That's what I did. That's why I write this stuff down. Right. Okay. Went down to six pounds of fuel pressure because of the, the plugs, the first one, they looked way fat. They, right. they looked, right, I agree. you know, brand new. And then I kept everything else the same and we were at 925 on the bottle pressure because we were putting blankets around it because it was so cold, trying to keep it as close as we could get it. So basically what Stan said, which I wrote it down because you know what happens when you get older. <laughs> he ain't got nothing to do with getting older, trust me. Uh, he wants to go to nine pounds of fuel pressure. On the last pass, we were down uh, five and three quarters, six pounds, flowing through a 73 jet. Right. So we're gonna go to nine pounds on the fuel pressure. He wants to take uh, only eight degrees of timing out of it. So we're gonna put a number eight retard in it. You say can you say anything about shifting? Uh, yeah, we are going to drop the shift point down to 7,000. 
see if we can keep the motor down in the uh, torque range because with nitrous obviously that's a lot of torque right and if everything looks good on that pass then we're going to go ahead and uh, up the main jet on the alcohol to like a 78 or an 80 see if we can get the combination of the three fuels to work well together because I'm thinking at Norwalk if the weather is just like it was at Indy which it, it based on right now it looks like it's going to be. It could end up being a, a low 70, high 60 bump. Again, well, especially because Norwalk's top dragster country. That's I mean, right. based on our experience. Yeah, so the if best we, of the best, the fastest of the fast will be there. If we thought that Indy had a lot of top dragsters, yeah, wait till we go to Norwalk. Oh, yeah, I, I expect there probably could be 50. It wouldn't surprise me. I believe that Snap-on Tools are probably some of the best tools out there in the world. I've used them all over the years. Uh, the, uh, the difference in snap-on tool is like night and day to a, to a mechanic. Uh, the feel of the tool, the way it fits a nut, bolt, uh, the torque wrench. I mean, this torque wrench is five, six years old probably. I've never had to have it recalibrated. I check it against other torque wrenches every now and again. It's a grade A torque wrench. It's one I use to build all my motors for my customers. Obviously we use it on our race motors, uh, setting up rear ends. But the good thing about Tom is like whenever you need something, he's Johnny on the spot. Uh, I like to tell the story that I'm the one that gave him the Tom the Tool Man name, which he actually uses that. That is his legal business name now. So it's Tom the Tool Man Hurt, Snap on Tools, uh, does an excellent job in customer service. Whenever I have a broken tool, which is very rare, he takes care of it, warranties it, no questions, no problems. It's, it's just a good uh, personal and business relationship. Uh, check your car out, everything looked good. We're going to go ahead and uh, time it. I want to back the timing off just a hair to kind of eliminate that little hard start. Okay. The sixteenth of an inch probably will give us two degrees. Okay. And uh, we're going to check it with the timing light. Got new batteries in it now. So I'm thinking I'm that... She, uh, was, she was, except for the starting, hard starting part, she was real happy there at the end, so don't be messing with the beastie. Yeah, well, <laughs> old, old baby beastie will be rocking and rolling. We got the oil changed in the cars, uh, did all our maintenance. How'd the Amway look? Emily looked great. Uh, as a matter of fact, my oil came out looking so good that uh, our crewman, Brent, put it in his truck. And that tells you, talk about recycling oil. The oil looks so good, and now his motor smells good as it runs, too, so. That, that Ford could use something good, like some Emily. Okay, now, that, that makes it a little better. And then and now he's bought that uh, can and cold air kit for it also, so that probe's probably up to 200 horse maybe? That just means that Performance by Fisher is EPA friendly. We're recycling our used motor oil. <laughs> there you go. Yes we do, yes we do. Because we do everything by the book. That's right.